Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Now <clears throat> we all know that uh, is the correlation between uh, demand and supply or supply and demand and uh, if you have a demand and you have uh, a high demand and then you have a low supply of that demand uh, the supply, the material, the item will increase its value because more people want the same uh, item and there is a scarcity. So if you decrease the availability of that uh, supply, the item, then it's going to increase its price, right? And if you flood the, the market with that supply and still the demand, then that will uh, decrease the price. Now, Russia has a, a very, uh, very big, um, how should I put it, uh, uh, extraction uh, industry of gold in this case, and it has a big um, uh, supply of gold, and it sells the gold, gives to other countries, and so on. That's the supply. Now, how would you increase the value of gold by decreasing the supply. So if all of a sudden gold is needed by uh, the same amount of people or uh, uh, more, but you don't give less, then uh, more people will compete for the, the same item, obviously will be eager to pay more for items. So the prices of gold will go out, up. So we have here, we. We have, uh, I have two articles here, and uh, one comes from, uh, the Business Insider, and, and the other one is, uh, let's see, where is that at? Uh, I have too many things here, and I have to, so this is Business Insider from the 26th, and I have another one, which is older, where Biden said, that's not a Mercedes one, they're related to, the other one's from Reuters, from yesterday. I'm gonna start with Reuters, which says Biden, at G7 leaders to agree on import ban on Russian gold. You know what it is? So they were going to do the same thing what they did with the oil and gas. So the supply will be uh, lim limited, but the demand will be the same or more. So what's going to happen with the gold? Can you guess? That's my assessment. I might be very wrong, but we'll find out because I keep an eye, one eye on gold. So. And it says here, Washington, U.S. President Joe Biden and his G7 counterparts will agree on an import ban on new gold from Russia as they broaden sanctions against Moscow for its war against Ukraine. The United States has rallied the world in importing shift, imposing shift and significant economic cost. She didn't rally the world. Some countries in the world, but the world is like all. No, it's not. It's not. But you see, words have meanings. And you see here is like an, uh, it's an absolute term, has rallied the world, not some, most, you know, in imposing swift and significant economic costs on Russia to deny President Biden put into the revenue to need, he needs to fund this war, his war in Ukraine. That's a lie, because Russia has China, has India and other countries that it sells more than before. It gets more revenues than before. So what are you talking about? All this paragraph could be taken out as misinformation. The United States has rallied the world, not the entire world. That's the first one, strike one, in imposing swift and significant economic cost on Russia. No, because it has more revenue than before. So you didn't impose anything on Russia. You imposed sanctions that have no, did not result, did not give the results you wanted to give. And actually, Russia is not hurt by that. You are to deny President Vladimir the revenue he needs. He's got more revenue now than before. So your sanctions did not work. So this paragraph, out, strike two, strike three, out, boy. According to the source, the U.S. Treasury Department, who um, Yellen, the chief over there, the secretary, said that she didn't know, she thought that uh, inflation will be passing, passenger, pa passing. Oh, I made a mistake. You had 50% chance. He had, uh, is if passing or is not passing, you didn't have in between. And 50%, you were wrong. And you were the chief lead uh, uh, accountant, how I want me to call you, economist in the country. And not only she made a lot of BS. I think it was planned, but that's a different story. Will issue a determination to prohibit the import of new gold into the US on Tuesday in a move aimed at further isolating Russia from the global economy by preventing its participation in the gold market. Russia will do the same thing it did with the 
oil will have its market somewhere else because unfortunately for these guys the the world is a big place with many many dynamics and many countries who have that have different various what do you want to call them uh interests so yeah they're going to just shoot themselves in the goal we're going to have here in the united states a gold shortage that's what's going to be and the gold in the united states will be higher than will be somewhere else such uh, and guess what the guys on the wall street do right now when they hear that when they heard this maybe before that not maybe certainly before we we hear it from the news they already but they didn't jump yet because my eye not that one close one the open one is on it and i will let you know all right so western sanctions on russia have no directly not directly com targeted commercial gold shipments but many banks shippers and refine refiners refiners stopped dealing with Russia's metal after the conflict in Ukraine began because they got blackmailed. They knew better. If you continue doing that, we're going to call you bad dudes and we're going to impose this and we're going to impose that. Not because, oh my God, that's a bad thing. Gold is a crucial asset for the Russian Central Bank, which has faced restrictions on assessing some of its assets held abroad because of Western Washington's Western sanctions. Uh, shares of Russian gold miners traded abroad have collapsed this year amid difficulties including selling gold and repaying loans to sanctioned banks. Russia produces around 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 zero percent of the gold mined globally each year. Its gold holdings have tripled since it annexed Crimea in 2014. Ooh, ooh. Banning the import of Russian gold would be the last of several uh, rafts of sanctions targeting Moscow since February. To blah, 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 blah. We got that one. So now they they cover. They they talk about something else. They talk about how bad the Russians are, and I'm not interested in that in this article. Going jumping to Business Insider, which is from today, June 26th, 2022. Joe Biden says the West is banning imports of Russian gold to tighten the screws on Russia, like it tightened on oil and gas. Good job. You did a good job. You tighten on us, but not on him. Joe Biden said at G7 nations, said the G7 nations will announce a ban on the import of Russian gold. They make him like he's the boss over there, which he doesn't even know, I think, where he's at right now. But it's a different story. But, you know, you build someone up, even though we know that that guy, you know, anyway. I feel sorry for the guy, but the problem is I don't feel sorry because he's there where he's not supposed to because of his his health. I don't think he's healthy. I don't think he's he's is fit. I don't think he's passed. I don't think he's still, you know, able as a president to do the what you know how strong, uh, dynamic, energetic he has to be. I don't think he has that. that that's my assessment. And I can have it, and I can express it. And it's not only mine. Look at. Uh, don't want to get into that, but, and the problem is if he has, if he really has um, authority in everything that he's doing, which I don't think he has, I think there are other people doing other stuff because he can't look at him, listen to him, see what, how he acts. He's not the one that he should be, I don't know, you know what I mean, gold has helped Russia oligarchs dodge western sanctions the uk government said uk those are the sponsors of ukraine the main one the uk said it was banning the import of russian gold worth 15.5 billion dollars a year to moscow that's fine shoot yourself in the leg why do you think the south south africa is going to give you some or who, who do you think is going to give you Joe Biden said the G7 nation would impose a ban on gold imports from Russia, choking off a key source of cash for Vladimir Putin and Russian oligarchs. The same thing, they choked them with oil and gas. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, I'm quoting what he said here from Germany. The, uh, this is funny, I have to read it. The US president who is attending a G7 summit in Germany this weekend tweeted, do you think he was... He tweeted, and I'm quoting, the United States has imposed unprecedented costs on Putin to deny him the revenue he needs to fund his war against Ukraine. Are you crazy? We all know that his revenues are higher than before with the sanctions. So what are you talking about? 
There's this misinformation, aren't they? Together, the G7 will, will announce that we will ban, ban the import of Russian gold, a major export that racks in tens of billions of dollars in Russia. What's that going to be a, uh, the impact on us? What's going to be impact on, on me? Because it seems like I don't think it's going to be anything on them. And they still have the reserves, more than we do, probably. The U.S. president, who is attending a G7 summit, tweeted, OK, we got that one. Uh, the U.K. government said gold exports, which were worth $15.5 billion to the Russian economy in 2022, had become valuable to Russian elite. No, it's, it, it's, it, the U.S. banned Russian energy imports in March, while more dependent European countries have pledged to win themselves off the Russian supply chains. And how did that work for you and for me? Great, right? Great. The ban of gold from the G7, which is uh, comprised of the US, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the UK, will be announced on Tuesday, an official total of Reuters. So they already talked. So we're going to see Monday the goals jumping up, jumping up or jumping down, uh, jumping up. Nevertheless, I think it's... Uh, I mean, they can do that. Uh, I Will it work? Again, I think will hurt the G7 more than the Russians. And isolate. Isolate what? That seven countries plus, an, plus another maybe five, seven. I'm not talking about the European as a whole because the European is not a monolithic uh, um, I say block that will just uh, go one direction. No, it's made to go that way. There are countries over there who disagree with many... Uh, sanctions and uh, ideas that uh, Brussels pushes on everybody else. The same here. So when they say the, the entire world, there's the guys, the engine, which is Great Britain first, the United States second, then the rest the, the have to follow, you know, they're in the club, grabbed by being in the club, and they, some of them are in the club, some of them are afraid, and the rest is in between. Some of them are with Russia and China, with the new bloc that was, is just emerging, and some of them are in between and waiting. That's the rest of the world. That's I would say I would assume is about seventy percent, sixty percent of the of of the of the world is still in between. You have the club, which is about I don't know fifteen percent. Russia, China is about ten percent. I would about that's how it goes. So let's say twenty five percent, seven no, right. So seventy five is the rest. Sixty, I would go sixty. Uh, ben the gold. I'm waiting. Not. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.